Good morning, children. I am Mary Grace Rivera, and I am your art teacher for today. So before we start, let us all stand, bow our head, and let us pray. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for the ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may now take your seat. Do we have absent for today? Do you have a, do you have an assignment? Okay, good. Before anything else, I would like to remind you that when I am discussing a lesson, all you want to do is to listen carefully. Avoid chatting with seatmates. Is that clear? If you have any question and clarification and concern, just raise your hand. Is that clear? Good. Class, look at this picture. Are you familiar with this? Let us identify the first picture. What is this? Correct. They are all gadgets. How about the second picture? What does it show? That's right. An artwork done by computer or we can call it digital paint. How about the next one? Yes, we can call it paint window parts. Can you see it? The next one. Very good. It is an MS Paint software window. Then, the last picture. Very good. A computer mouse. Class, do you still remember the last topic we discussed? What was it all about? Very good. Again, what are the elements of arts? Excellent. How about the principle of arts? Wow, that's great children. Very good. Before we start in our new lesson, let's play a game. I will divide you into two groups. All you have to do is to arrange the puzzle to create a beautiful picture. Is that clear, class? You may start now. You may now present your work. Class, look at the picture on the board. What have you noticed from the picture 1 to picture 2? Anyone? Good. What else aside from they are both image of a girl? Very good. Picture 1 is more clear than the picture 2. How about the color? What can you say? Yes, that's true. The color of the first picture is much better than the second. What else? What have you noticed with their elements and principles? Is there any differences or similarities? Very good class! Both have elements and principle, but the first picture is much defined than the second one. My question is, which picture do you think is digital painting? Yes, that's right. Why do you say so, that the first picture is digital painting? Any proof? Very good, because it is much clearer and much defined than the second picture. For you, does digital painting difficult? Why? Yes. Digital painting is more difficult for those with more skill and practice with traditional art. To be good at digital art, 
you'll need a strong foundation in the different mediums of drawing and painting. Although the medium you'll, see, you'll use for digital art is different, the skills are the same. So, if you don't have much experience with drawing, you should start at the beginning. Drawing basic shapes. Now, let us discuss what is digital painting. Digital painting is an emerging art form in which traditional painting techniques such as watercolor, oils, impasto, etc. are applied using digital tools by means of a computer, a graphics tablet and stylus, and software. Again, digital painting are done through what? That's right, computer and other devices like tablet or cell phone and also through some application software. Have you ever tried to make a painting through your gadgets or in any application? Now, I will show you the basic formats and processes of digital painting. And later, after the short demonstration, I will let you paint on your own gadgets or phone. I will be using my laptop. Let us proceed to the procedure. First, open your laptop and navigate it to paint software. I will show you the parts of the paint window. MS Paint window consists of many parts as shown on the video. First, is the paint button. Paint button offers such as new, open, save, service, or paint. Next is the drawing area. Drawing area is the blank window where you draw and paint. I draw a circle here. Next is the title bar. Title bar is the topmost bar of the paint window. It displays the name of the open document or open file. It has quick launch icon at the left side and control button at the right side. Again, what are the parts that I mentioned so far? Good! Now tabs, home and view. Two tabs are present in paint window. Each tab has different groups like clipboard groups, image group, tool groups, shape groups and color groups each group have different tools it is called ribbon ribbon contains different group and each group contains different tools shape group contains various tools to draw different shapes line tools is used to draw straight lines with different thickness Rectangle tool is used to draw rectangles and squares. Which group would I click if I want to draw shapes? Shape groups. Very good. To use rectangle tools, step as follows. First is click the rectangle tool and move a pointer in a drawing area. Now, click the left mouse button and keeping it pressed, drag the mouse to draw a rectangle. Next is oval tool. It's used to draw ovals or circles. If you want to draw a circle, just hold down the shift key while dragging the mouse. Next group is color group. It is used to fill color in drawing. Here, we have two options in this frame. Color 1 option and color 2 option. Color 1 option have to choose the outline color and is also used to fill color in drawing. Then color 2 option is the color of the eraser and appears inside the shapes and fill color. If, to, if I want to fill my artwork with color, which of use? Very good! Now that you are introduced in a MS Paint parts and how it functions, let us proceed now to the actual painting. Are you excited? What do you think I will going to paint? Any guess? 
Okay, let's see. Try to guess what I am painting. First, draw a frame using rectangle tool and choose the line thickness. Next, go to edit color and choose blue color. You may enter the number in the boxes to get the exact color I am using. Inside a rectangular shape, draw a line horizontally. If I want to fill this with color, what group should I click? Very good. So now, let's click the color group and select the desired color and fill color with color tool. Go back to edit colors and choose spring green color. Use pencil tool and draw a zigzag line as shown and then fill with color tool. Go again to edit colors and choose light color for the sand. Fill in the area. Do you have already guessed what is painting all about? Let's see. Let me continue. After filling the sand color, go to edit colors and choose dark green. If I want to draw a brushes, what tool should I use? Correct! Select a pen pencil tool and draw brushes as shown, then fill with color tool. Again, go back to edit colors and choose dark brown or enter the numbers to get the exact shade. I want to draw a coconut tree. Which tool group should I click? That's right! Draw a coconut tree using a curve line tool. Enclose it with a pencil tool and fill it with color. Again, go back to edit colors and choose medium brown. Using pencil tools, draw details in coconut tree. Then, fill it with color to make it more natural. Choose a pencil tool and blend colors as shown. I want to draw a tiny line in my coconut tree so that it looks like it's natural. And I want to change the thickness of my pencil tool. What should I click to change it? Very good! For its leaf, click another rectangular shape tool beside the artwork. Choose blue using color pickle tool and fill the new frame with fill with color tool. Go to edit colors. Choose dark green color. Scribble as shown. If I want to choose a lighter shade of green, what should I do? Great! Click the edit colors and select the desired shade of green.
add some details of the artwork. Go back to edit color and choose the dark green color. Choose the airbrush tools. Then for small areas, choose a smaller brush sizes. Using pencil tool, add some details of the area. To make it realistic, fill the color of waves using pencil and airbrush. Using pencil, add a spinal touch to a coconut tree. Draw a cloud using pencil and fill it with color white. Add using airbrush, have a final touch on a cloud, and then blend with a light blue color.
Now, I present to you my digital painting. What can you say about it? Thank you, class. What have you noticed? Do you think digital painting is difficult or easy? Don't worry, class. I am, I am here to guide you. I was like you before, but I just keep on practicing until I learn. So do not lose hope. Are you willing to learn? That's great! Now, it's your turn to make a simple digital painting using an, an application that I shared to you or using your laptops. Draw or paint just a simple things or object for you to familiarize the tools needed in making painting with technology. I will give you 5 minutes after that um, you present your artwork. You may start now. Time's up! Now, let me see your painting. Very good class, you did it! Just remember, in doing your artwork, always put your whole heart into it and everything will fall into place. Just be patient in your artwork and practice to make it better. So class, what have you noticed or realized in making a digital painting? Let us talk about the elements, processes, or methods, and principles we have done in digital painting. Very good! The elements, principles, and processes are still applied even with the use of technology. Even in making a digital painting through technology, we still use the same elements like line, shape, and color, and texture. Um, same as the principle, when we are doing digital painting, we still apply the principle like balance, emphasis, harmony, movement, pattern, proportion, repetition, rhythm, unity, and variety. Now, it's your turn to showcase your talents and creativity. For your individual activity, Make an artwork that is done through technology. I will just give you 10 to 15 minutes for your activity. Are you all done? Okay, who wants to present his artwork? Yes, Kathleen, what did you paint? Why did you choose butterfly? Mm, because every time she saw butterflies, her peace and happiness. Wow, nice perception. You are all amazing artists. Give yourself a round of applause. In making digital painting, what have you learned? That's great. What else? Very good. Learning new skills takes effort and time. So don't be discouraged if your artwork is not fully defined. Because when time comes and you practice and practice, your skills will be developed. So, painting is one of the ways for a person to express his true thoughts, ideas, and feelings. So, everyone is a great artist of our own artwork. We just need to appreciate it and improve our talents. Even if we are not so good in art, we need to practice it more so that in so that our ability will eventually improve. Again, what was our topic all about? Very good. How do we define again digital painting? Awesome! Digital painting is done through what platform? Very good. It is done through computer, laptop, cell phone, and other application software. Can you explain again how these processes, elements, and principles are applied in digital painting? Excellent! In creating digital painting in our laptop, what was the first thing to do? Correct! Navigate it MS window. So which part of the MS window where we draw or paint? Good, in the drawing area. So what will you do if you want to fill layers of colors on your work? 
very good go to edit color then select color that we want then click the fill and click the part of the artwork we want to fill with specific colors how about if we want to add small details in our artwork what's the best tool to use right the best tool we can use for the small details is pencil how are you going to do that if we want to create a very thin details in our artwork? That's great! We can click the pencil tool and adjust the thickness of the pencil in the line thickness part. For your sheet work, answer the following question. Answer it on a whole sheet of paper. Direction. Write true if the statement is true and false if the statement is false. Number one. Digital painting is an emerging art form in which traditional painting techniques such as watercolor, oils, impasto, etc. are applied using digital tools by means of a computer, a graphics tablet, and stylus and software. Number two. The art processes, elements, and principles still apply even with the use of technology. Number three, painting is very easy. Digital painting is very easy. Is that true or false? Number four, we need to put an effort in making digital painting. Number five, in digital painting, tools are never worn out. Number six, digital drawing area is the blank page window where you draw and paint. Number seven, Ribbon contains different groups and each group contains different tools. Is that true or false? Then number eight, digital painting are done through computer, laptop, cell phone, and other application. Number nine, in digital painting, we use different elements and principles. Then number ten, digital painting is one way to express our thoughts and emotion. Are you all done, children? Okay, pass your paper forward. Then for your assignment, create a digital painting about the situation you encounter during this pandemic using your cell phone or your laptop. That's all for now, children. Thank you for your cooperation. I hope you learned something. Take care and God bless you all. Goodbye!